was. We actually have a free moment here. 250 in. Azale was actually able to chat with Think Card. Hang on, looks like there actually may be a gank in the mid lane. Jensen exhausted straight up. Here comes Moon. He gets ex oh. exhaust straight away. And FlyQuest comes up with kill number one. And it was, you know, the important kill, right? We're talking about yeah. the top triangle of the map, which is this part of the jungle right now. You know, top lane, this part of the jungle, and mid lane. And FlyQuest did focus very heavily on that. Right now, though, prepping the dive on balls. He's going to go ward and get stunned. Oh. Kha'Zix, when he was really in his prime, you know, before the last rounds of nerfs, where uh, right into Black Cleaver, and, you know, going semi-tanky where you're a bit bruisery with Hextringer and stuff. Okay, builds are going to have to wait because they're going after balls again. And both junglers are going to come too. Oh, Contracts is in. They're going to be out real quick on this one. Kill going in for impact. Moon cannot get in to help on this. Lost. Altex Flash still down, but Ball's Flash comes off cooldown at the time that the Rengar ultimate comes off cooldown. But Contracts actually sitting in. He wants to get the free jump out of the bush. Should be all right. Bowl it in. Shot glass there. Trying to deliver, but they said, oh, okay, you can't get to it. I'll get the kill. Clear it out. Seems like when a team can never really get under the skin on that top side lane of fly quest, Balls is kind of just relegated to grabbing up a few farm here and there, sharing in lanes. You can already see 118 to 77. Things are going to become very hard for him if he just wants to share that uh, camp. So with fly quest moving everybody down there as uh the rotation came in. Well, Contracts actually jumps for it. Whoa. Minions are there. Doesn't want to take too much. It's going to be the jump in from Impact. Contracts just gets out with his life. Is there a finalizing Woo. kill? Oh, it's over the shoulder. Pie to the face of balls. And C9 actually didn't get, you know, much for their troubles in spreading out. Uh, just got some recalls for some, some base timings into purchase. If they can actually force a fight on these purchases, then it might be worth it. Oh, they want him. Oh, it flashes out of the shockwave. That could easily be a 2v1 for him for the moment. Jensen actually taking a lot of damage from the shockwave dissonance on the backside. He did not miss it. Contracts Ooh. and Jensen not able to burst the target first. Impact will be able to answer at least one. Guys, <laughs> I just got to farm this canyon. Give me the, give me the cannon. Balls? D9 can get this here. Looking to pinch fly. Balls is so far away. You know, go for it. Teleporting in, he's just going to be above the team. The Equalizer could lay down mid, but he's being chased by Jensen. Everything's in defense here for FlyQuest. Forward goes Jensen. Exhaust goes down. It looks like Fly pulls off. Uh, with the Kha'Zix ultimate then. We got nothing left. Here they go for a Flash Shockwave instead. Then they hit Sneaky. They got him. It's about pulling the trigger. It only becomes harder when you show them that initiation the first time, so you got to do snap judgment the second time. High says, I'll do it myself, but even with that kill, Kana can't get anything. To with the with the split push pressure. Right now, Jensen's not showing, though, and there goes Impact. Locks in Moon. Impact in a 5v1 right now. Yeah. He'll be coming back up. Contracts is there. They got to be careful of the equalizer. It's still burning down. Two in the shockwave. Moon goes in. He's able to clear one out. Two of these gets just far enough away. The reset in. The reset out. And Moon gets himself some great kills. The team's going to follow ball. Oh, here. Cook and Jensen. They were waiting. It was the split push plays, but can Cloud9 collapse from the lanes to get the kill? <laughs> Jensen Eagle Eye onto Lemonation on the back line. Sneaky with very low mana, still firing in the Mystic shots. Uh, I've been sustaining them, but for how long? When will you know, uh, C9 actually be able to pull off one of these picks? As of right now, you can tell that FlyQuest are feeling the pressure. Moon goes in. Oh, Moon gets hit. Redemption comes Whoa. down. That's going to be a very nice heal. Elimination put it just on the outside. Equinox to lock somebody down. They lock out an impact, actually, as he comes in. Drew shot barrage through the team. High gets hit with the bola. Can he stay oh! alive? He needs to deliver the shockwave for the team. Equalizer goes down. Boss on the forefront, overheating. So he's getting slammed through the minions. Can't do too much as he continues to speed up. Contracts is obliterated in that fight. It is a low elimination, but Fly stays for the fight. Baron. May be able to do some vision work. And they are trying to take this opening to actually oh, my change word. the state of the game. Impact. Baron getting burned. Impact mid. He's starting to come back. It's only half HP. Smoothie's there. Looking for contracts. He's over uh -oh. at Blue Ruff. Too far away. So the skies, Jensen, if he goes in, it's going to be a hit for the steal. Uh -huh. Contracts just on the edge. Baron goes to Jensen in Cloud9. And they start to wipe down Fly. It's one of those situations. Fly quest, but like, they were just running out of options, and they wanted to take a small window here, but it wasn't enough. 
Cloud9 can collapse. There were no CDs left for FlyQuest nope. inside the Baron. Z9 had all respawned, and that is going to be the game. 38 minutes in. What a back and forth after C9 knew they weren't just going to find their way into the base with the split push. FlyQuest holding them off, and one final fight at the Baron Fly finally broke and took the chance. Cloud9 take the victory. Game one to Cloud9 over FlyQuest. So that Ezreal, Lulu, safety for er, Sneaky. We know he'll never shift in. Ever since game number one in the LCS, <laughs> E has never been used forward again. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be on the rift. Game two, FlyQuest versus Cloud9. And FlyQuest looking to make a statement. Man, what a blast from the past. That is such a long... <laughs> I remember what you're talking about now. It's it was just a while. It was just up to your left, about 20 yards in yeah. that top lane next to the turret. I was back like season <laughs> three when we first started the LCS. Cloud9 were just dominating everyone, mm -hmm. but one of their only games they dropped was uh, sneaking on Ezreal, Ark, and shifting forward. Ooh. This would be exciting, though. Let's Pardon. go. Pardon. Oh. Nice ball move. Impact. <laughs> Impact. Has to blow flash. Oh, he actually didn't flash that far. Uh, he's still slowed by the exhaust. That's why he exhausts early here in the level one fights. Levination, no hesitation there, and they get the kill even though you're a team that made the move. Uh oh bottom, here it is, what we've been waiting for. Nautilus is in, depth charge isn't far enough now. Impact still has a way to go. True Shot Barrage, one last attack. It's gonna be going over to Smoothie to start things off for them. They follow up, there's the kill for Sneaky, and Contracts just stays alive as Impact takes aggro. Smoothie's really kind of looking for Fly here. Cloud9 going over for Dragon. What's their initiation? What's kind of their win condition once they get in. Because you have balls who could be pretty kited by this team unless he teleports into a real good spot. Again, their first goal is uh, the standing goal that's pretty open. They actually just now get it, but I'll take takes a good chunk. Oh, open up on the curtain. He actually can't get out of this one. Nicely placed. Ooh, collateral damage. They didn't communicate that one. Could have taken out Sneaky a little faster, but who cares? They get him anyways. 30 seconds on the death timers here. We'll see how long balls can stay alive. Never moves. Oh, but gets oh, the contract on me. He can slalom the minions, start getting healed from that as well. And he should stay alive. Look, he's not even 50% mono right now. Uh, Impact may not have the damage to make this happen before he gets back. It's gonna take a while, but balls doesn't have anywhere to go. So. Oh, he's still by the brush. <laughs> nice dodge on the never move, just getting out. The more time you buy for high to push mid lane, for top lane to shove into turret. There's that flight quest, goal. strike back. There's the ultimate. Da -da 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 -da. Oh! Pops a potion. The auto attack was actually balked by Jensen. He had to stop as he lost vision. Yeah. High saving his own life. And then that can sometimes be the biggest advantage. Even if both teams have similar combat powers. If you have the extra information to work around and you get someone there quicker or you cut off a rotation, that can mean the big difference. And there it is, vision advantage. Jensen on award. Hatching that one. <laughs> Consistently setting up that security vision. Oh, Lemon! Right out of Jensen again. Holy. He just came back. But yeah, Lemon Nation gets squeezed out on that one. Things for pressure mostly. Control War just actually not seeing anything. Looks like they'll be all right. Not even the pressure. United might there. actually counter now. Contract's very, very low. He actually has the dot on him as well. He's got to be careful, careful for war damage coming in. Impact and Jensen flashes forward. Oh. Goes for all tech finds his target. Contracts gets out with a sliver of health, baiting in more attacks. Sneaky ults on the never move, gets zeroed out on that. Smoothie very low as well as impact. And Fly was really able to just group up, continue the damage. And like we said, these are going to be longer fights. Balls is going to live for a while and be on that front line for the team. C9 loses three. Throw a bowl up. Regardless, now it's a Baron initiation. Oh, and it does not look good for Fly right now. Contracts picks up balls, takes him down. Oh Contracts my! And now, actually, the kill coming in. Nice flash by Moon. They keep him alive. Baron! Hi, trying Four to get it. Moon's in the right. He fires the ult backwards for what would have been a true grid over the wall. Gets the smite. They get out with Baron. Um, and especially as balls, you know, the never move is actually 
not the easiest CC to land. So FlyQuest, they do get him into the fight, but it's going to be the big minion wave they move over to try and capitalize on. Cloud9 activating immediately with Scatter the Weak. Oh, They're on to Impact. And they still have the turret to fight behind. It has about negative one HP, but it's still standing somehow. Yeah, geez, they got sneaky super low. Balls went down though, so no more frontline. Oh, line it caught him around. Still has the Edge of Night to use so he can get out of another crowd control. Almost getting the dissonance in. The ball move might have been killed Jensen itself there as everyone gets out, except for Balls. He goes down first. Nidia has impact going before contracts. Yep. If Fly can actually get a there fight. There he goes! Oh, if C9 can get a fight here, they'll be stopping Fly very nicely. The turret's all behind Cloud9, about 600 or less HP. So this would be a huge fight now resulting in Cloud9's favor. Balls is going to be next. That True Shot Barrage hitting nicely through two members of the team. And a double kill coming in for Jensen. That's high and Lemon Nation down with Balls as well. Uh, Impact should be able to... Oh, oh wow! Stand there. still. Yeah. Don't move. Not only do you have to actually manage your ultimate cooldown pretty well, um, but you usually want to have it running when you zone is on the front line, so you still have threat. Jensen has to dodge here, though. Oh! oh! Let's see All what right. they can do with that pick, though. You know it's going to be one person's down. High says that's 100% barren. We're going to hit this 50-50. Be damned. And they may pull off for the fight. Watch it's going to be Balls play. taking a lot of damage. He needs to get the heal up here. He could easily be a focus. Impact gets absolutely shredded as the tankiest one on the team. And that means C9 has to look scared here. Oh, Sneaky in. Sneaky with the flash what? in. No, we know the results of the flash in. Sneaky does his damnness to stay alive now. There's the shields. Great job by Smoothie and the rest of the team to keep him alive. Shockwave now onto Contracts as he goes down. There's your arcade step forward. Nine. <laughs> Get the fight lost there. Three down for them. Jensen just came back up. Fly is low and Baron has fully. Oh, feet. it's still touch and go. Jensen won't have time. We've seen the Glitter Lance steal, and a Mystic Shot can do the same. Too many members oh. in front. That's the Baron for high, and the team FlyQuest make it out alive with all five. And try and disengage to allow time for his teleport channel to go off, but they're just sticking with five members Ooh. mid. They throw down Beatrice onto Impact, slows him down. That's the ultimate Open coming him. in from Lemon. Contracts looking for an over-the-wall jump. Whoa! Onto balls. He actually didn't find the target he wanted. Nice true shot for Raj. Sneaky goes forward, picks up the first kill of the fight. Lemon Nation gets back. He is very low, and Cloud9 eat a shockwave coming in from high that settles the fight a little bit. Jensen gets the hit, the shield on him, keeps him alive. And he didn't go down to the end of the line as it comes back with damage. Slivers of health as C9 is limping away from the fight. They will lose mid. Jensen and I is just on the back line and almost walked into a certain death there. Takes a chunk of damage. Now FlyQuest, even though they don't get a kill, they move up and they get an inhibitor turret in the end. And these turrets have been set up. We were saying before, there's 600 on the top. There was 600 on the mid. And I think there's 20 on that bottom tier turret. So they have so much to come back and take out. Undead Moon somehow in this uh -oh. game. 11 to 13, 5, 0, and 6. Lemon Nation and the team set up to take impact down. Can they shred him? The continuous lockdown as they layer the crowd control. The curtain call will be for him. I don't know how he can dodge his Nautilus. The last uh -oh. down will take him down. Sometimes I think that thing just weighs him down. 39 minutes on the clock. They're going to be going for Elder Drake on the side of FlyQuest. All right, Contracts might go for a steal here. Or actually, C9 move in to contest. Balls, very nice job on the front line, but he gets shredded. The Sonyas for the ultimate of Jensen. Pulls it out, baits it in, and they take him down. Impact and Jensen now waiting to get back up as FlyQuest start to take everything on the map. Elder Dragon still ticking for a little bit longer. Pull in, three oh. man depth charge, and it looks like the damage is going to be over. Now on to Alltech, down high was already dropped in the beginning of the fight as Lemon Nation is a focus. Jensen soloing balls on the bottom side towards mid lane, and he may be able to drop the last Q. He will not. The hammer doesn't follow. Balls and Moon get out alive. Oh. Cloud9 has been waiting for this fight and are able to stop what was a Baron up, then Elder Dragon Fly Quest on a push. Item build, he's gone. All right. As we see Cloud9. Pumping over towards used Baron. It. Teleport used as well. This sucker is dead. Look at that burn. <laughs> no chance, Baron. No chance. 
Whoa, flash in, Lemonation's the hit. If they can clear out Lemonation, that means a lot of the crowd control here is gone besides that ultimate from high. He's forced to flash, throws back the dissonance to hopefully slow the aggression of Cloud9, but they have bought time. They held their breath. They got the fight they wanted in the mid lane inhibitor, and I think they may have just closed it out on FlyQuest. Oh, yes, they have. Baron there for C9, plus they jump on FlyQuest as soon as they come through the jungle. And that is going to be an end to the series. What an exciting game number two, though. Pretty back and forth. Very back and forth. We are going to see one hell of a series here coming in for the rematch, but it will be Cloud9 taking the 2-0.